Hello, my awesome people who I love. We are continuing today with the marathons of flowers because it's another day of grumpy day in Canada, which probably going to be rain today, as I see on my meter in here on security, uh, that it's going to be rain today. So, yes, why not to cheer up ourselves with some gorgeous flowers? And you probably already recognize my one of the favorite diamond painting from Fan Cell, and that's a branch of gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. And today we will work with you on this rose. So I pick for now these three colors, and we'll see how much we can create. I will keep you today maybe a little bit more further from the um, canvas so you can see actual flowers well I will zoom a little bit don't worry so we will start with usually when I start I start or with brightest color or with darkest color uh, right now I want to start with this patches of like a darker red and that is a symbol U so it's a 13 this beautiful beautiful red color so let me pour on my we're gonna put this aside and work a little bit together usually just for in case I'm gonna make a mess I use them from some of the older um, canvases protective sheet and it's good to use it to kind of keep your tray on it and put your hand on it so you don't stick to the Oh, that's way too much. We don't need this many because that's a little area in here. So we will have to change diamonds. Okay, so I'm just going to shake it from side to side. And here is what we have like a berry they are so glazed and gorgeous i cannot get over it how gorgeous diamonds on this particular canvas so if you wish of course i will be um, link it up for you to this canvas i will link it up for you my other previous video drill with me if you wish but let's get a little bit more close maybe like this so you can have still kind of pretty picture for you and I will use a beautiful pink pen which kind of match in the flower right all this pen you can also purchase from fan cell in different colors and they are very very comfortable to work with I love the way that's shaped in here it's really comfortable to hold and sometimes I even hold in here on a bulky side kind of further which I will work probably right now like this I hold my pen a little bit further so I don't have my hands too much in your view which is still going to be because these colors in here kind of scatter around so that's why I'm trying to keep a picture a little bit further but then I'm looking right now on a camera and I don't like it there is diamonds I wear too far away from you so I can zoom a little bit close more, but then we will have to move tripod a little bit from side to side if you are okay with that. Or you like to have a like a shot from more further, please let me know. So next time I will just set in one spot and that's it. But I think lots of you like the way I bring camera more close, that way you can see diamonds on a canvas. And these diamonds are just absolutely stunning. And I'm going to use just the one placer only and enjoy. I don't want to ever finish this canvas. I love it so much that I work just a little bit at a time so I can work longer on it. As much as I want to finish I'm still procrastinating, believe it or not, I love it too much. But 
by myself I do work a lot with this canvas with the multiplacer even I say that I don't want to ever finish but at the end of the day I need to show you <laughs> the finished canvas sometime in this live frame It's the day today. Today I'm going to see my trailer. Excited. Not excited about weather. Hopefully rain will hold. Because I wanted to kind of take a uh, camera with me and maybe shoot some video a little bit. I'm not sure if it's going to be possible or not. But if it's raining, that I cannot record. So I'm really excited actually to finish this rose because the other rose that we finish on a, um, like a further that way on the top of the canvas, that one's like a little bud. And this one is like a full open flower. So I'm really anxious to see how it's going to look like finish if we will like it or not the softness of these petals okay I got a new wax so my wax kind of sticking out sometimes I don't know if you see or not so I just usually kind of like wipe excess I was looking for my blue tack. I can find it where I put it. Because I wanted to put in here right now blue tack that way I don't have to replace wax too often. And uh, usually blue tack less kind of coming out than this pink wax. I know, I kind of got used to already to blue tack first time when I tried years ago I did not like it now I do I don't know what changed I cannot explain okay so uh, many of you on the Facebook group in my Facebook group if you're not a member yet please come join us it's Lovecraft Forever group on Facebook and um, many times you've been asking where is the best place to order diamond painting in custom right so uh, there is a few videos will be on my channel about custom diamond painting if you want to hold on and not order and wait a little bit but also uh, there is uh, one more company that I already um, did review to review actually I can tell you right now it's um, craft ease they um, offer to create a custom diamond painting so I'm looking right now for the picture which picture I want to send them so we can see better if that would be good or not for a custom and I'm changing right now my diamonds so their diamonds are very beautiful and the canvas is printed very nicely so I'm anxious to see it too like if it's going to be good quality for the custom or not because everybody can create diamond painting beautiful for the um, like a flowers uh, I don't know animals but 
to make a people right it's not always easy so if you want to wait uh, like usually will probably take a month or so I don't know I, I don't know maybe it could be faster so if you want to wait and see then uh, that's kind of like a hint for you there will be looks like one company wants to create uh, more of the customs so I'm looking at right now 21 N. okay so symbol and we need this next kind of pink color let's start from this side and uh, yeah so I'm wondering if that's gonna be good or not and I forgot to show you these diamonds another kind of like a raspberry very nice very nice color so let's start now we are going to create more shades in here and more colors not sure how much we can create today uh, maybe a little bit with you and maybe a little bit off camera so I can create a little bit more and show you kind of or finished this one rose or at least like close to finish oh, diamonds are stunning and no I cannot show you right now the cuts on them is just amazing I have to like fully um, pull camera focus like back and then I can bring my tray close to the lens and you could see like the whole cuts everything these diamonds have but as of right now when I go close it's going after focus maybe on the end I can show you I don't know but anyway you you see these diamonds many times already because we work with them before they just very pleasant to place them so yeah you can see I'm on the mood of flowers that's it the springtime I'm on a warm and sunny days I want something comforting I have enough of cold Wow, it's already super so vibrant it's almost like glowing for me <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so as for right now we have a natural light with you just the window light And I'm using my lamp magnifier so I can see my image more close to me so I don't make it too much mess by placing the diamonds not very straight okay where we are here I should pick another color this one D because it's a lot it's a good patch I think my next color I picked is going to be T this light one I really want to do this one as well okay so looks like I need to move camera now see that's the thing or keep you more close to canvas or I have to move camera all the time or keep you away a little bit. What's what is better?
Okay, now let's let me just a little bit go back so I don't go too much from out of the image maybe. Don't worry, on the end I will show you as close as possible this flower. My puppy sleeping next to me. Oh, she's getting bad. She chew on everything. And doesn't matter how many toys she has. She's still going after shoes now. Now she's trying to rip sofa. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what to do with her. She's getting really bad. Now oh, she's snoring in a cage, maybe you can hear her. Okay, well we are. Okay, so patch in here. Now it's like not too many not too many symbols in here. So I really have to look. And my phone is ringing. I thought maybe today I will be okay without any distraction. Not happening. There's not much symbols of this color left in here. And that's the thing, working on a certain area, see, like, you need to change very often colors. And for me, it's a waste of time. And that is why I like to work cross-country. Oops, lost my bead. Because now I would, like, finish in here, then I would go to different flower with the same color. Okay. Can you see? Okay, in here. Oh, did I just miss that diamond again somewhere? I don't know. Because I put I um, push my pen on a diamonds really really lightly. So sometimes I just like barely even touch diamonds. So the time I go to the can with my bead drop back to the tray. bead diamond drill everybody like to call differently oh not telling you i might have to put more wax in here Feels like, uh, where is my wax? Feels like my wax went inside of the pan. Now I don't have enough. So, can you spot more N symbol? Can we see it? Come on, let's look together. You're kind of far away, but let me just check. I'm sure I will see you later, probably, symbol. Right now. I think we're done with this color. All right, let's go to different ones. So now we will go after a light color because I should bring one more. <clears throat> I might well be because they are just too pretty not to work with them. And right now we will work with this color of bright kind of pink. 23 double check symbol T always double check and make sure keep bag that you're working with next to you without mixing them all together like for example I pull out three bags and I work with one accidentally I can pour my diamonds back into the wrong 
bag I did that before trust me so I'm talking to you with experience <laughs> so you don't have to do it okay we go back into the beginning and at least this this shade we have much more diamonds to place soft color they represent lighter highlighted spots of the flower by looking into the sun I think we can bring a little bit in here more. Okay, I'm quiet. Why I'm quiet? I guess I'm enjoying with this diamond so much. Then forgot to talk. <laughs> and you know, chit-chatting with you every single day. I'm running out of the stories. <laughs> Somebody asked me, well, if you need some topic of what to talk about, Tell, uh, have you met your husband? Well, I already told that story a long time ago. We met each other in Niagara Falls. That's where was our first house. We married in Niagara Falls. I used to love to walk up there miles and miles and then ride bicycle all the way to the like a golf course to the gorge oh it's just beautiful area up there for exercising i would go kilometers and kilometers away from home riding a bicycle and then i think what happened if my tire get flat that's a long way to walk I loved there. I loved to go to waterfalls and stare on it for hours. And just sit on a bench and enjoy the sounds of the falling water. And we lived there. That was our first house we bought up there. But then By the situation, what happened? We had to move away from falls, and now I'm just like 15 minutes away from Niagara Falls. But we are very often go up there. Now it's everything is shut down up there. No fun at all. There's a beautiful up there, botanical garden. And right now when magnolia tree is blooming, that would be very, very beautiful up there. But these days we don't go up there. It's going to be probably too late when I decide to go. The trees will be over bloom probably. I really wanted to snap a shot of the trees up there. Then we have a beautiful um, butterfly 
um, building up there where you can go inside this all those tropicals beautiful plants up there and basically you walk in through the butterflies heaven they just flying around you can sit on you gorgeous species like so many different kinds amazing I think I have a picture of Catherine when butterfly landed on her head it was like a beautiful decoration for her hair and she was like freeze <laughs> didn't know what to do she was little I have a picture somewhere and then we have a beautiful area in here uh, Niagara Falls close to old casino that it has like a, a whole bunch of birds and uh, yeah, some fishes, some turtles, some birds. What else up there? It's like a also you walking in a forest. It's gorgeous. There's lots and lots of beautiful places in here for tourists to visit. It's just too bad everything shut down now. So I was kind of sad to move away from the city, but also it's much cheaper living in here where I am right now much more peaceful but I still I miss the falls I like when you go to the waterfalls and it's a very very sunny day and you can see like a full thing of beautiful rainbow appear in the water mist because the pressure of water are so high from water falling down and create lots of mist and through that mist when sun hit there's a always rainbow up there staying as gorgeous sometimes so bright sometimes even like a double rainbow I have many of those pictures still in camera okay I just want to make sure I'm still in a focus with you here okay to the po okay that part you're not gonna see so we are going to move a little bit like this just for in case I decide to get out of the camera so I will start from the top love to work with bright colors last night I work on cottage this little 30 by 40 I think centimeters cottage and I wanted to record video today about this but it's so much confetti up there that I kinda and a little bit difficult canvas to work on so I thought well, it's going to be a little bit hectic to record video about the cottage because all the bigger spots I already kind of placed diamonds on it. And for me to work on camera, I would have to move my tripod too much maybe. So I decided, well, let's go plan B and think which one canvas will be better to work on for the video. And I decided, well, I kind of love this image so much and I want to start from another side of the canvas that I don't have a diamonds yet because this is a like a hundred something I think a long long canvas but then I changed my mind and decided just to continue the part that I'm already working on so we can see the rose finally
Okay, so few more diamonds. Oh no, that's still lots of diamonds in here. Oh, missed the diamond. So I already recorded for you video for Friday and Friday we will have um, excuse me Daisy wake up oh, she's dreaming too much she's dreaming too much and when she's dreaming she's almost like a whistle and her noise is kind of funky and I don't really want to stop my video again So now she messed up with my thinking, what I was talking about videos. Yeah, so I have a video on Friday already. Still didn't do a stitching. My friend on Instagram asked me to show how to do a French knot, so I think I will combine maybe in my cross-stitch video so I can show you a little bit sooner than later. I've been cleaning my room again. I'm reorganizing my craft room. I move lots of stuff around from upstairs, downstairs. Uh, just trying to get a little bit more useful space because after time it's getting a little, you know, all the time stuff, uh, all these rotations with diamond painting and cross stitch and all those boxes. And um, yeah, so time from time I have to reorganize over and over, otherwise, it will be everything everywhere. So I spend a good half of day actually cleaning and that was my Easter, my Ukrainian Easter. I keep myself busy working, that way I keep my mind away a little bit because usually holidays, it's like a big holidays that it's in Ukraine, get a little bit difficult on me in here because I miss my family a lot. So by doing a something like, you know, cleaning, reorganizing and taking mine away and you busy, you just, you don't think too much. And that's what I do. Usually when I am upset or something, I like to move furniture around. <laughs> and it's in my head actually to move furniture around for a few weeks now. I just can't figure out what I can switch around here. Cause too much stuff so yeah sometimes I just I can flip the whole room in one day by myself and I'm thinking how did I even do it with such a heavy stuff good thing we don't have a carpet so if I want to move something literally just slide in and when you put the sliders under the furniture's legs and just slide in easy from side to side wherever you want it Excuse me, I'm just gonna sip hot tea in here. See, no coffee, I'm making a tea today. My owl up there in the frame, she's drinking a tea. She told me that tea is better than coffee. <laughs> oh, I keep looking at her, she's so funny. I don't know if you still can buy her or not because those ones with double-sided adhesive everybody was really like whoa what is going on back to double-sided adhesive so nobody wanted them so at this point I don't know it's a beautiful canvas but 
I don't know if you can order the same canvas or not. So we already see we done with this color. Now I'm thinking I will go for the brighter pink color more. If you want to stay with me longer, we will fill in those gaps and see how this is going to look like. So what I need right now, simple D. Simple D. It's 11. Let me find 11. 11, 11. See, I have them like this in my... So this is 23. I, I kind of... Okay, if I can zoom out a little bit more. They all in order. So now my pink one go back in here. 22. It's a 20. 21 in here. And oh, sorry about that. And then I have 13. We'll go. Where's my 13? 13 go here. So now I need 11. Okay, 11. That's the color for D. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful color. They all beautiful. What can I say? <laughs> they all gorgeous. So let's see. Let's work a little bit more. Actually, we can see them very close right now. Can you see the? Can you see the cuts, or it's all glazing? It's so shiny that it's a lot, a lots of cuts in here. But to me, it looks like all smooth and shiny. Is it? Let me look through the magnifier glass. No, it's a very lots of tiny cuts. So it's almost like. Looks like shiny, but it is lots of cuts in here, so that's why they are so gorgeous. Okay, get back in here to me. And symbol D. Okay, we will start from the top. Oh, these colors make me so happy. So beautiful. Uh, one of my packages that I supposed to review to you, brand new company. The package got lost it and never show up to me. So yes, unfortunately, they say they will ship again, but I don't receive nothing from them yet. So I guess they give up. So it's happened. It's happened. Some packages just don't make it in this kind of days. I'm kind of sad because there was an awesome product, something different, not diamond painting, that I wanted to actually was very interesting to do that. Okay, what kind of... Oh, see, I told you I will find one. I found one more N. And I was looking for it. All right. We have to move close. Doesn't matter how good you look, 
still missing a symbol. So usually, if I miss the symbol, I would uh, do it like on the very end later. But if I'm doing it right now, like as a section kind of uh, episode, or I would say, then yeah, I will go back and put the diamond like right away. But if I would go cross country, I wouldn't be go to the image. I mean, to the symbol again till I finish the whole canvas because I know on the end I will miss more than just one of the same symbol. So I just place them on the very very end. Usually I do look on the light on the window. When I lift my canvas to the window, I can see all oh, missing diamonds. Or if I work at night, I just do my light pad. That way also I can see where I need to place my diamonds. But because of the light pad, like it's much smaller than canvas, so you have to kind of move under the canvas from spot to spot. And you lift your canvas to the window you can cover like bigger section of the canvas and see uh, where you do not place your diamond and that way kind of easy to find it wow this rose getting beautiful and more beautiful I just can get over it of these diamonds how gorgeous they are they still have this uh, canvas. I think I, I got this canvas from last summer. That's how long I'm working on it. And I'm not in a rush. But they do have this canvas still in the store. I just hope the, the quality is still the same. Hopefully nothing changed. So That's my concern. My wax again kind of went into the pen. Sometimes I think maybe because, and it's mostly with this canvas, I have to refill more often. And I think, I start to think that because these diamonds are so glazed and shiny, then my wax gets not sticky too fast. I think that's what it is because it is, it's like a you can see how shiny these diamonds. Something special coating on them. And the more you work with them, your the wax getting kind of slippery and s just not sticking to these diamonds anymore. See? It's even coming out. What? Okay, here we will see a good patch of beautiful colors together. Because this area will be almost like done. A uh, few dark diamonds in here for the shading symbol Z. Maybe we will place them to it. Just a few diamonds in here in this symbol, but they will create the beautiful deep shading. Okay, did I miss anywhere for okay, I miss one on the top. Hold on, I'm just gonna place in here. And then I will have to move more forward.
Daisy breeze so heavy. She's hot, I think. She's sleeping upside down. Legs up, all twisted. It's exactly the same thing, body. They sleep same way. I think all golden retrievers sleep like the upside down. Funny way. Okay, we are going to oh one more and simple miss right in here. Okay, so let's place now simple Z or Z, whatever you say in your country. Let me just find them. Number four, I need a bag with number four. I do have a DMC code with this canvas, which I love. Okay, number four, that's the color we need. And I will keep you right now far away like this because in here is just a, a few diamonds, not too many in here. And it's a gorgeous, what is this? Um, for 321 DMC code. Look at that, look how beautiful. Oh, it is so stunning. It's so stunning. Okay, where else? One in here. One up. Oh, see, I'm telling you, they don't stick to wax very well because it's too glazy. And one more here, one more here. And I think that's it for this symbol. See, so lots of changing colors. The other darkest one in here I see, it's um, a few axes, but they like on the outside of the canvas, like right in here few. So you want me to place them two together with you? We're going to create video a little bit longer with all this changing of colors. So X I need number seven five six what where's my seven i mixed up bags in here or what number three hold on i'm missing my number seven six okay six and then i have eleven and twelve i totally put in the wrong way okay now i got it 10, 11, 12, okay. For some reason my diamonds was a little bit off the order. Okay, so the seven we have, it's a actually really, really dark burgundy, I call it. And I need just uh, maybe like three or four diamonds, really. Bead to bead, very, very even. And that's all diamonds looking like this in this canvas. It's just one better than another. Oh, now I see Z in here. Why didn't you tell me? 
X. Okay. Okay, one more in here. That's it for this one. See, that's the <coughs> that's the crazy cough I have like I'm good I'm good and then it feels like it's choking like it's so fast that literally not enough air <coughs> to catch and that's some kind of like a cold air allergy I have here in Canada oh okay do you want to work more we can work on symbol G, maybe. There's lots of them in here. G, what is a G? Uh, 24. 24. Let's see what kind of color that is. 24. Kind of like orange. Let's see. Oh, please excuse me. I think if you can look on a certain diamond, you can see how many, like a tiny, tiny cuts, and that's why they are so, looks like, almost like shiny with no cuts, but they have lots of diamond cut sides. That's why they are so pretty. So pretty. I keep saying that because I can't get over it. How pretty they are. Okay. Let's, let's do it. So symbol G. Yeah, maybe blue tack will be better for these diamonds because they are very shiny and trigger my wax too fast. See how beautiful, right? Like so many like different shades in here. <coughs> Oh, I don't know if I have to stop now recording and say goodbye or what. I'm really worried that it's bother you when I keep moving camera. Maybe after this color, because video will be too long, I will quickly finish most of these colors and come back to you and show you how this rose look like. I wonder if this is going to be more visibility of the um, like more sharp looking rose than the other one because the other one more look like a soft colors and because it's like not fully open but was like a from far away so it looks a little bit more kind of like a smudged but this one should look much better and that's why I want to finish at least one 
fully open flower <clears throat> so you can see the beauty of this canvas and gorgeousness of these diamonds okay it's nice nice look at nice I think birds may be hatched already from the nest under my roof. We were fixing and fixing and birds still found way to get under the roof. Because last night I was um, taking a garbage from the house um, to the outside and when I walk on the side of the house I saw half of the um, egg shell blue one so it's probably robins hatch the babies oh, no not robins it's those black tiny birds um how you call them that live today they always changing or robins or the other ones just keep going under my roof go build the nest on a tree somewhere no, they always come here. Okay, we need to move a little bit more. To here, there, and this is going to be our last stretch for this color. And then I will be back and show you my progress, how much I already created. So, probably to finish this flower, I will need it like maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe half an hour if nobody bother me with multiplacer probably faster you know what just for curiosity i will put timer and see how fast i can complete this rose with this left yeah i will do that i want to see how fast i can finish but i will be placing this probably multiplacer because I don't know how much time of piece I have to finish this video so I have to speed up and I will put this missing diamonds that we missing a little bit in here so we have actually completed coverage of the rows Even dark diamonds in here, it's a pleasure to work with them because they are as gorgeous as this pink one. Glazy. I wish all diamonds was like this in every diamond painting kit. Some of them, it's so like... Um, nice sharp edges of cuts, but not shiny as much. Okay, are we done here? I'm uh, just going to put on the top three, which this is kind of like already connecting up there with different rows. Hold on, and I'm already going after focus a little bit in here. All right, so here's what we have so far, and I need to change my battery as well. Here's what we have so far, and I will back to you in seconds. With Okay, trying to record this episode second time is it has a card memory error so hopefully we will finish and I will try fast so it took me exactly 30 minutes to finish this rose 
I thought it would be faster than that but it looks absolutely gorgeous here's the diamonds clothes they look so stunning and of course I think it looks good all those petals we can see them it looks it's still this image are like a softness of it so it looks pink and I don't know I, I really really love it not sure what kind of flowers this is it's some kind of like a uh, I don't know there's a bots in here not sure what what kind of flowers that is but rose itself is beautiful and I think the other rose will be look so pretty as well so that's where I am for now amazing amazing canvas love the background colors and let me know what you think about this rose not much sparkles we can see right now because there's no sun outside all right thank you so much for staying with me today and i will see you tomorrow